gutter mount. The gutters, the gutter mounts have to sit in below, you know, in, in below the, the tiles, so the tiles can sit flush. You need to cut into the fascia board or the gutter, depending on what sort of um, house you've got. You can use a grinder for, for a metal one, or you have to use a saw to cut down through the timber. You just put this here in your mark, either side of the gutter mount, how, how, how wide we have to cut, and then you start cutting or grinding. Just press pause. Alright, so we've got our little notch cut out of the fascia so that so the gutter mount can sit inside the fascia there. Okay. And I've, I've done a test fit to make sure the tile can fit back over and it's all nice and flush and nice and tidy. Next step is to put a little bit of silicon over all of our work here just to stop, it, stop any leaking or tearing. Okay, we need to make sure with a spirit level that our pole is nice and straight. Magnetic spirit level. Push them in like that. And you get it really down here. And then screw into the angle truss of the of the roof frame. It's one. Still level. And two. Pull this one here. This is a Foxtel gutter mount. The Cable Magic gutter mounts don't have. over the cable magic cab uh, gutter mounts don't have this extreme these are these are just foxtail ones the cable magic ones are just this bit and this bit and this bit it's all nice and strong and quite solid you don't need to use the extra uh, support foxtail ones have put these screws in here Sharpie. And the gutter. Okay, and then there's some little locking screws that go into the bit here to stop the slide from going, from sliding inwards. And only an 8mm driver. Easier? 
yeah, that's got them out nice and solid. Can't go anywhere. And the tiles can go back over and be nice and tight. Just press stop.